Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. OMG, Daisy, I can't believe I ate all that ice cream. I know, right, Molly? You're such a pig. You asked for like five scoops. I don't even know where you put that all in your stomach. <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm going to explode. Well, it's about balance. Uh, first I eat the ice cream, then I work out on my bike, so I don't feel so bad. Come on, let's go climb that mountain over there. Molly, I don't know if that's such a good idea. I'm not that great at riding up mountains yet, and I don't have a mountain bike. Our bikes are just fine. Come on. Molly, they don't even let the horses go up that mountain. Well, bicycles are better than horses. They can climb mountains. I don't think so, Molly. I really don't. This is a bad idea. Oh, you're such a chicken. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten so much ice cream. This is a giant hill. Oh, boy, Molly. You always think of the worst ideas. Actually, correction. I think of the best ideas, the most fun ideas. You think of the boring ideas. Whoa, we're up so high I see snow. How's our bicycle supposed to go through this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, the snow is really deep and there's ice under the snow so I'm sliding all over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Molly, I'm going back down. Molly, don't go over that edge. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I can't stop going. Huh, Daisy, I'm going to fall over the edge. Molly, be careful! Oh my gosh, uh, my brakes don't work, Daisy! It's too much ice! Wah! Molly? Molly? Ah, ah. Oh my god, Molly, did you hit your head? Molly, say something! Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I better call 911! 911, what's your emergency? My sister, she rode up this giant mountain in Brookhaven and she fell off a bike because it was really snowy and icy. Oh, wow. No one should go up that mountain with a bicycle. That's what I told her, but she didn't listen. I think she might have hit her head because all she could say is, ah, send a helicopter right away. We'll be there shortly. Thank you. You must be the sister Daisy. I am. Can you tell me, is my sister going to be okay? Well, it's hard to tell. She got a very, very, very bad head injury. Is it like a concussion? Yes, it's like a concussion, only much, much worse. Well, when she first fell, she could at least say, ah, but now she's not talking at all. That's because your sister's in a coma. What? A coma? Molly! <laughs> I mean, you are an annoying sister, but still, you are my sister, my sister! I'm so sorry, Daisy. But can't you do anything? All we can do is hope that she wakes up. How long do people normally stay in comas? Well, with this type of head injury, it could be a day or it could be a hundred years. Or never. <laughs> this is horrible! I'll come back every day, Molly. I'll come back and talk to you, and, and hopefully you'll wake up. Molly? Molly? Molly! Good morning, Dr. Smith. I is my sister awake yet? I fear she isn't, Daisy, but it's always good to go and talk to her. She, she certainly can probably hear you. She just can't wake up yet. But we'll hope for the best. Yeah, we'll hope for the best. Okay, I better go see my sister now. Molly, it's me, Daisy. I brought you these beautiful flowers. Uh, it's time to wake up. Come on, can't you smell them? They smell wonderful. I, I, I really need you to wake up, Molly. Please, please wake up. Oh, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. 
Good morning, Dr. Smith. I'm here to see my sister. Any change? I'm sorry, Daisy, but no. She's still in a coma. You brought me a donut, though. How nice! No, 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 Dr. Smith. This is for Molly. She loves donuts. Oh, well, she can't eat the donut, so you should give it to me. I can. I don't think so, Dr. Smith. It's for my sister. Sheesh, you're a doctor. You can afford a whole dozen donuts. Okay, I'm going in to see Molly now. Don't be thinking about eating this donut either. Molly, it's me, Daisy. I brought your favorite treat, a donut. Smell it, Molly. Smell it and wake up. Molly? Molly? Oh, it's no use. She just, she's not going to wake up. <laughs> well, I guess I just have to eat this donut myself then. See, Molly, I'm eating your donut. You better wake up. I'm going to eat your donut. Oh, no. If that didn't wake her up, nothing ever will. <laughs> Goodbye, Molly. Forever. <laughs> oh, Daisy, she is the most beautiful baby in the world, and she's ours. I know. She is so beautiful, right, Adam? Hi, Savannah. <coughs> oh, Savannah, don't cry. It's okay. Oh, good girl. You're so sweet. Well, dear, should we continue our walk? The baby seems to love the fresh air. Oh, Daisy, what's wrong? I, I, I just feel sad because we're, we're right in front of Bookhaven Hospital. This is where my sister's been in a coma for over 10 years. Oh, honey, I know that hurts you so badly. She would love Savannah. She would be the best aunt. I mean, she would probably teach her to jump on the couch and be totally naughty and stuff, but still, she would love her. I, I think I'm ready to go in and see her. Well, honey, it's been 10 years. Are, are you sure? I mean, there's been no change. The hospital said they'd call you if there was. I have to do this for Savannah. Okay, honey. Savannah and I go will go with you then for support. Thanks. You're the best family ever. Hi, Dr. Smith. Daisy, is that you? You look so different. I know. I'm all grown up now. Have you met my husband and my daughter? No, you haven't been here in 10 years. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, honey, Camille, Dr. Smith wants to meet you and the baby. Oh, my goodness. Look at her, Daisy. She's so beautiful. Her name's Savannah. My husband's name is Adam. Well, I'm glad to meet you. Any change with my sister? No, just like we tell you on your monthly reports, your sister is still in a coma. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to go say hi to her. It has been 10 years. That's a great idea, Daisy. Go right in. Hi, Molly. It's me, Daisy, your sister. And I'm here with my husband, Adam, and your niece, Savannah. I think that's a boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, they're all your boy. We, we miss you. I mean, well, I miss you. They don't really know you, but they would love you if they got to know you. Please, Molly, wake up. Please, I need you to be an aunt to Savannah. Oh, my God, she's making noise. Did you hear that, Adam? I did. How strange. Maybe she's going to wake up. I I'll go get the doctor. Molly, come to the light. I mean, come back to me, your sister. I, I, I had a baby. Her name is Savannah. You're her aunt. Wake up. Ah, uh, what? 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 She is waking up. Look, it's a miracle. What? What happened? I, I, I remember riding my bike and then boom, and that was it. Oh, my gosh. It's a medical miracle. She's woken up. How long was I out for? Um, Molly? Where's your pigtails, Daisy? You look weird. Um, Molly, y whose baby is that? <coughs> you better find its mom. It's crying. Molly, I am this baby's mom. Huh? What? <laughs> Very good one, Daisy. Well, she seems to remember everyone. 
This is good. Okay, I think it's time to break the news to her. Break what news? Did I break my leg? Oh my gosh. That was crazy though when I went off the side of the mountain on the bike, right Daisy? Molly, you've been in a coma for 10 years. What? <laughs> You're joking, right? Seriously though, if it's been like a few days, I am totally going to get detention for not doing my homework. Or do I get out of it because I've been in a coma? Molly, I'm not kidding. You've been in a coma for 10 years. Look at my face, Molly. Look how much older I look. What? Wh who is that guy? He's my husband, Adam. And this is your niece, my baby, Savannah. It's okay, Molly. Just try to take deep breaths. Take deep breaths? I'm freaking out! I've been in a coma for 10 years? Why didn't somebody wake me up? I mean, detention's not that bad. Um, we couldn't wake you up, Molly. Your brain wouldn't let us. It had an injury, and it took 10 years to heal it. I would suggest not going up and riding your bike down Brookhaven Mountain again. Yeah, Molly, I told you that was a bad idea. Holy guacamole, can I get out of bed? I don't want to lay here anymore. Ugh. Um, excuse you? Sorry, when you've been laying down for 10 years, things get a little backed up. Ew, Molly, gross. I can't believe I've been in a coma for 10 years. I've missed so much. Yeah, you're probably going to have to go back to high school and start over again, though. Seriously? I have to start over and I'm a grown-up? Oh, that just figures. Can I hold my niece? Of course you can. Oh, my gosh, I have a niece. She looks just like you, Daisy. Oh, thanks, Molly. I think she got my eyes. She totally did. Hi, Savannah. I'm your Aunt Molly. Hi, Molly. Oh my gosh, she said her first word and it was Molly. Oh, seems like it was fate you were supposed to wake up on this day, Molly. I'm so glad to have my sister back. I just can't believe it. I'm going to go down in the medical journals. I'm going to be famous. Aw, Savannah, we're going to have so many adventures, including riding our bikes down the mountain. Molly! Just kidding. <laughs>
You don't, Molly. <laughs> you have to be tiny like that until I figured out how to, sh to unshrink you. I don't like this at all. What do you mean when you can unshrink me? Uh, well, you see, I was doing this science experiment to help out Pookie Cookie. Wait, she wanted to be super small? No, she kept getting scrapes and cuts and things. They were pretty big ones, too, when she was learning how to ride her skateboard. So I decided to help her out and make this way to shrink her, her cuts and scrapes so they don't hurt for very long. And she can get right back onto her skateboard. Yeah, except for you shrunk me! That's because you're a curious George. And all you want to do is snoop on me. Actually, I was just looking for my winter coat. Thought Mom actually accidentally put it in your closet. And when I went into the closet... It actually led to here! Whoa. Did you build all this, Daisy? Yeah, it's my science lab. And it's amazing! Until you came along. Well, what are we going to do? I'm so tiny! Well, it looks like you're going to do your night routine. Because it's almost time for bed. Oh, man. How am I going to explain this to Mom and Dad? Don't you dare tell them about my secret science lab! Aww. I can't believe my sister shrunk me! Say that five times fast. My sister shrunk me, my sister shrunk me, my sister shrunk me, my sister shrunk me, my sister shrunk me! It's very hard to say. <sighs> well, what I do before I go to bed is get a snack. Okay, I can't reach the... I can't reach the refrigerator handles! Oh, <laughs> I want an ice cream! Okay, maybe if I crawl up here... Molly, don't get up on the counters! That's rude! Well, it's rude that you shrunk me down to this little tiny baby size! Ew! Ew, you farted! No, I didn't. Pfft, now I farted. Ew, gross! <laughs> what are you doing standing behind me? I had no choice. You're giant. Hmm, this ice cream is delicious. Can I have some? Please, please. Nope, you can't have any. I just want some ice cream. My stomach is hungry and I need a snack before bed. You can have a nice delicious apple, little baby. I'm not a baby! I'm a shrunken down Molly, and, 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 and I'm not a baby! I say it again, I am not a baby. Did you understand that? Yeah, Molly, I'm a scientist, I'm very smart. I just want a snack, please! I'm gonna go delirious, crazy, bonkers, insano! If I don't have my chocolate ice cream! Molly, are you trying to bite my toe? Molly, eat an apple! Oh, Daisy! <laughs> I'll just climb up to the fridge myself. <laughs> if I climb on it, and okay, I'm almost to the door. Uh, uh, uh. Yes! yes, the ice cream! Give me all the ice cream. Give it to me! Mmm, oh, this ice cream is gigantic now that I'm so small. Holy guacamole! It's like the size of me! I don't know, being shrunk down is not so bad. When you get to eat a gigantic ice cream, mmm. Mmm, that is good. Ugh, I'm getting a stomach ache. I'm getting a stomach ache! Molly, come on, we gotta brush our teeth. Mom and Dad will be home from their date any minute. Molly? Molly, what's happened? Are you okay? Did the shriek ray, I don't know, make you sick or something? No. Oh, the ice cream I ate made me sick. Oh, boy. I told you to eat an apple, but you didn't listen to me. Come on, let's brush our teeth. Okay. As soon as I can move. Ugh. Being small isn't so bad. I mean, it seems like you can do a lot of fun things. Like what, Molly? Eat gigantic ice creams for one. <laughs> uh, I can't reach my toothbrush. Okay, Molly, I'll hand it to you. No, not my toothbrush. That's too big. I'll have to use one of the new ones that Mom bought for baby Kira. Oh, the little baby has to lose a little baby toothbrush. Daisy, that's not funny. It's not my fault. I'm so... Giant! You're so giant! And I'm so little! Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Apparently it shrunk your brain, too. Because you can't really talk good. <laughs> yeah, it may have. Nope. Baby Kira's toothbrush is way too big, too. Holy guacamole, Molly. And also, I can't reach the sink. Daisy, could you give me a little boost? Sure, Molly. Here you go. Ugh. Thank you. Ugh. That's not going to work. Okay, right on my back. I'll give you a piggyback ride. Don't spit toothpaste in my hair. Okay, fine. Are you done yet? Yeah, can you give me a piggyback ride upstairs, though? It seems like it's a long walk for my tiny little shrunken down legs. Okay, fine. Daisy, this has been great and all, but do you think you're going to figure out how to make me big again? 
Sure. Why don't we go to my science lab? I've been thinking about it, and I think, well, I've got it figured out. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Um, you could make me gigantic? But then I would get to eat more ice cream. Sounds good to me. Into the closet door we go. Okay, Molly, according to my calculations here, if I set the ray at 126 and mm -hmm, I do this and this. Daisy, how did you get so smart? Easy, Molly. I pay attention in school and I do my homework. Plus, I like to read science magazines. That's it? Yeah, my brain was just born bigger than everyone else's, I guess. Okay, get in front of the way. I'm just going to make a few adjustments, and everything should be good. Are you sure about this, Daisy? Uh, no, Molly, I'm not sure, but what else are we going to do? Daisy! I don't, I don't, I don't want to get I don't want to get shrunk down even smaller or be made into a giant or something. Well, I don't know what the worst thing that could happen is, but it's probably not too bad. Daisy! What? I haven't even gone to college yet. You think I'm some sort of scientist? No, I'm just an aspiring scientist. Once I go through college, I'll know more about this stuff. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to be bad. Okay, Molly, starting up the way. Hold still. Oh. Ah! Did it work? Did it work? Oh! <laughs> it didn't work at all. Gee, I turned Molly into a, an adorable little cat. I think I like my sister better as a cat. I'm kind of a cat kind of person. Oh, do you need some milk, little kitty? Oh, and you need some food, too? Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. Cheapers, Molly cat. No need to be grumpy. Oh, wait, you're a cat. Cats are always sort of grumpy. <laughs> Well, I guess I've got a lot more work to do. In the meantime, Molly, you don't have to do homework, so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs>